Hey guys, Dennis here, and today I'm going to show you how I flattened my workbench. In a future video, I'm going to make a planer sled with some special features, but I need a flat surface to build it on. I ripped some MDF on the table saw to create two rails and glued on some spacers. The spacers sit below the top of the rails and will give me room to work right to the edge. While the glue was drying, I leveled the bench. Then I drilled holes through the rails and the spacers where the screws will mount them to the sides of the bench top. The rails are longer than my bench and I measured so the overhang would be equal on either side. The vise ended up being in the way, so I marked and trimmed a section of this rail. I didn't film cutting it with the jigsaw. Okay, so the first rail is screwed to the table, and it's level with the table, and it's straight. I checked it with the straight edge. This rail, it's temporarily held on the other side, screwed into here when I got it level with the sled on here. What I need to do next is get these two rails in the same plane, and the way you do that is with a thread or a piece of string that goes from one end, one corner to the other corner, and the other corner to the other corner. I'll show you. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the string from that corner to that corner fixed, this corner to this corner, and you can see in the middle here, there's a space between them. So what we need to do is make these strings just barely touch. And that will tell us this rail and the back rail are in the same plane. I didn't film building the router sled, but it's basically a five-sided box with a slot cut in the bottom. I used pocket screws, but you could just screw, glue, and or nail it together. I threw this one together pretty fast, and you can see it's not pretty. If you've seen a CNC router before, this is the manual version. I will also use this to flatten some of the large slabs that I have in my drying shed. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Thumbs up if you like this video, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I try to read them all. Yeah. 
Well, it's not perfect, but it is flat. If I had a nicer router bit, I wouldn't have all this tear out, but this hard maple is tough. That's it for this time. Stay tuned for upcoming projects where I flatten even more things using this now flat table. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.